Hello, my name is Ana Barbero. I came from Spain and I am a professor at the university in the, at the Rioja University. Um, I am going to talk to you about a method that was used already by surrealists some time ago that is called Exquisite Corpse. It came from French and the, the name was Cadaver Exquis. We have here the, this first image uh, that was uh, made by Manray y de Stangi, Joan Miró y Max Maurice in 1928 and is an example of, we call, of what we call cadaver skis. As I say, it's a method by which a collection of words or images is collectively assembled. In this case, each collaborator adds to a composition in sequence, either by following the rule or being allowed to see the end of what the previous person contributed. For example, in the case of art or an artistic uh, work of art, we have the example of the proposed proposal made by the Tate Gallery uh, that is a collaborative art project by Chris Milk and Aaron Cohen. Uh, you have the, the, the page you can consult. And in this case, what they propose to us is uh, an exquisite forest. The idea is the same. Is, uh, we have a first start, some one start, this artist, and then everybody who wants to contribute just go to the page and then draw. Uh, it is not necessary to be a great artist or to know how to draw. It is just necessary to express. So, continue with talking a little about this technique, uh, I have to say that this uh, methodology or technique was invented by surrealists. But as I told you, it was not a thing, it, it was not think like being a methodology of working, it was more a play. And this play indeed was based in a game, English game, called Consequences. I think it is important to contextualize where we are and only a few lines to say some things about surrealism that is a cultural movement that began in the early 1920s and is best known for its visual artworks and writings. Surrealist work featured the element of surprise and, expect, and unexpected juxta, uh, juxtapositions. This is an example of a surrealist paint in this case, was made by Ives Tangi, that is an American, uh, an American artist, and the name of this work is the Satin Tanning Fork, was made in 1940. So, uh, surrealists developed out of the Dada activities during World War I, and the most important center of the movement was Paris. So, what if I propose to you to try to make an exquisite corpse? Let's do it, but first I want to show you several works we have developed uh, during this past week in uh, the Global Art Camp organized by, by Let's Art uh, a School of Art. So I can show you mm, some of these works. This first work was very interesting too. As you can see, there is no a logical a, a situation in which ima the image, uh, one and the other, are connect. But the fact exists some lines that are the ones that, that, uh, that give the continuity uh, to these designs. How we do that? Indeed, what we, we have several possibilities, but the one we follow for this draw to propose was um, um, to divide the a sheet of paper, we are going to see it later, in four parts. And so the person who uh, made the first row hmm, let some lines in the other part of the, of the sheet and she draws his row and left these small lines. So he gives the paper hmm, in, the, in a way that the other person cannot see what he made. So it's like, oh, uh, what I am going to do following that lines because I cannot see the part before. So it's 
was something like a surprising thing. Mm? This was made in the same way, mm? following these uh, instructions. And this other was too made following these instructions about without seeing what the previous person has drawn. So it is more uh, interesting, more funny too, and the results are more imprevisible. And this one, this, this case is very interesting too because in some way the face joins with the body, but then the body transforms with the hair in something very strange with the arms and the, the legs are too in a situation a little strange. So, in some way, as we talk, uh, it, it is related with surrealism. So, it is obviously a technique that in that time and in this, mov this movement could be used because what we have here is something that is related with realism. In that case, we can discover an image, a face, a body, legs, and we can discover the arms. But by the other way, things don't join like we are... Uh, used to. So it's some kind of strain. It's not realistic, but we can still recognize forms. So now uh, I will try to explain and to make with you this kind of exquisite corpse. So let's do it. As I say, we are going to start with a seat, okay? And it can be a four, a four, or three, or five, or whatever. What we are going to do is we are going to divide, okay, in four parts, equal parts, not like this one, but you are going to make better than me. And so this is going to be one, two, three, and four. So the thing is that we are going to have this page, we are going to make the first division, okay? And then we are going to make another form. So the first thing we are going to do is, if we can be four people for this play, for this work of art, better, because we are going to experiment. and. Um, Let's say that ex exquisite corpse is the title, but we can work with body, or we can, both, we can work with other kind of things, nature, whatever we want. The subject is the, 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 the main thing for us to uh, give this continuity to our work. Mm? In this case, we are going to work with the exquisite corpse to give some continuity to this uh, all these things we have been talking about. So, um, the f in the first part, as I say, first, it was the first person who is going to join this place, for example, me, Anna, and what I am going to do, eh, without letting the other see what I am doing, is to draw, for example, if I am going to use exquisite corpse, is because I am going to use the the parts of the body. So in this in this case, I am going to work with a head. Okay. Let's say head. So, for example, Mm. And what I, what I say is it's very important to leave a signal eh, for the following part of the design. Okay? So as I say, then I can go to the second part of my row that maybe the second part can be uh, the arms, okay? We can des decide later. It's not like one must be head, two must be arms. It depends on the play you want to play. So if I made here, for example, an arms, maybe 
I can make like that. And here I can have the other, because I have this. And maybe this person is with a paper. And he's writing too. But here happens one thing with this thing. That is, that if I make like this one, I don't have a line that continues here to the following person to continue the draw. So I have to continue the lines, maybe. Mm? And maybe I continue the lines because this is uh, some kind of paper with an extension. So that means that The third person, excuse me, I forget to say that this was Anna. Maybe this was Andy who made this without seeing that. Eh? And now maybe can be uh, Claire. Okay. And then Claire, what has to do is, if maybe she decides to do the body, eh? okay, she has to use this line, the one we have left here. So let's see that this is a woman and that is the body of the woman so uh, obviously she don't know that it is that the, the, the um, she will don't know that here is the 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 neck so he will design this without seeing so that means that maybe it is not going to join hmm? the thing is that we are seeing it now but okay and the same will happen here i have to let some lines here so maybe if i have this i make like that because i know i have to let here so in this case i will have to use this line and this line but remember in this case when i when marcos will take this paper okay the only thing he see is like this and he's not going to see this, so he only knows that here there are two lines and here is a line. And he only knows that he has to do here legs. So he has to invent that here and he don't know, we, we haven't said that we are going to draw a woman or a man. So maybe he has to draw now here a leg, he only knows that he has to draw a leg. And here he has to draw another thing related with a leg. So maybe it's the floor. Okay? So if I made it here, I have the floor and I make okay the legs. So at the end what we have here is something like that, okay? That this is what we call eh, an Exquisite corp. So, I hope you will like this experiment thing I have trying to make here with all of you. And don't mind about if the row is very good or not. The thing is trying to experiment and trying to to be uh, open to discover new things and new creative forms of work with art. So that is um, the, 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 the information I want to transmit to you and that is what I wanted to share with you. I hope that everybody uh, is completely fascinated because of this and now I'm sure that you are going to uh, look for three friends and you are going to start making an exquisite corp. So, let's do it. Thanks for the attention. Thank you.